Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm out in the middle of the lake fishing. I've been out here all day. Uh, Derek was here earlier and uh, we caught a few pike, uh, some bass, and uh, ended up catching a bunch of panfish. I'll show you. I know they're not monsters or anything, but uh, sometimes you could ju you just gotta take what you can get. So this is gonna be just enough for some fish tacos. So I hope you all have been enjoying the content. So I didn't know what to shoot today. So I figured since I'm on a kayak, I'll uh, give you an update on uh, Yakima overhead HD racks. And somebody was asking me about the Diamondback cover with the Yakima overhead HD setup that I have. So I've been running it uh, this entire summer, taking uh, quite a few trips with it already, uh, some long trips. And uh, honestly, I've been very satisfied with it. And uh, yeah, so I've been able to take my paddle board and uh, my Hobie uh, fishing kayak that I'm on right now. In case anyone is curious, it's a, it's a Hobie Outback, uh, the Mirage, 11 and a half foot. And I uh, actually bought it from Derek. Uh, he's, he got the identical setup as this one. So we're planning on doing some fishing trips in the near future. Hopefully we could go to Florida and get some really big fish, bigger than uh, these uh, small pan fish that I got right now. But, you know, uh, it's just some goals but yeah so I figured I'll give you the update and uh, honestly I, have, I haven't experienced anything negative that I could uh, tell you about uh, I think it's a perfect combination I don't think I would have went with any other combination when I was out on those uh, big lake uh, vacation towns I'd always check out people's setups. You see a lot of pickups with uh, different overhead racks. And uh, I honestly haven't seen anything that I would do better. Obviously, when you put those crossbars, uh, uh, the ones that you mount all the accessories on, uh, you can't use the, the actual diamond back cover. You can't flip it up, but that's not, that's not a big deal. Uh, I don't have such a long bed with a five and a half foot bed with my truck. It, uh, it works out just fine. Uh, I could just go right underneath and pull out whatever I need. I just try not to stack any important items that I might need while I'm traveling uh, too deep. Usually I'll just leave everything in the back that I need access to, like, a, like whatever, like a quick bag that if you stay in a hotel overnight and I'll just leave it at the end and it's, it's been working out just fine. So I'll also uh, uh, do include in here in the video of how to load a kayak to on the rack all by yourself because it's not easy. Uh, initially I was just trying to do it the dumb way, just trying to muscle it and almost blew my back out. Just because the kayak itself, it's 11 and a half foot and it's just awkward picking it up. It doesn't have enough uh, handles. So um, I, I'll show you the idea that I came up with and it only cost me 50 bucks. And no, it's not the Hobie wheels because uh, those won't work. Uh, those would be great if you're on the beach somewhere and you have to cart your kayak through the sand but uh, those wheels would not work what I need them for. Plus they're a little too, ex too expensive. So I found an easy $50 solution on Facebook Marketplace that somebody was telling me. So let's just head in. I still got to clean the, these fish. So hopefully uh, I'll have enough time to make some fish tacos for my kids. And uh, I'll shoot the video of showing you how to load this kayak all by yourself. So. I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the content and uh, appreciate all of you who've been uh, subscribing and been with this channel for a long time. So uh, yeah, we would really appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up, if you'd subscribe and if you'd share it with your friends um, and let us know in the comments what else you'd like to see. Um, yeah, this was just a nice relaxing day. 
I'm going back to work in a couple days, so, you know, just needed to clear my head before I go right back into the craziness at work. So, this was a nice little uh, one-day trip, and uh, we'll see at the truck. Okay, so the solution that with uh, loading your own kayak that I came up with is uh, this suspends uh, wheels. This isn't like the best solution, but I was trying to think of how can I mount the wheels to the rear of this thing so that way the kayak is not rubbing on the ground when you are dragging it to your truck. So I found this on Facebook for half off, it was like 50 bucks, so I figured I'd give it a try. And so far it's been working out pretty well. So I just leave the straps uh, connected so there's a loop just big enough and I just uh, lift it up. And in the rear, I have these uh, eyelets that are screwed into the kayak. So I use them as my anchor point. So once I loop them around the eyelets, I just cinch them down. And the whole point of this is that way so the bottom of the kayak is not rubbing on the concrete because eventually you're going to get a hole in it and you don't want that. It's going to be a pain in the butt fixing the hole. So I cinch it down and there you go. It's done. And now we're going to load it on, onto the truck. I'm good, thank you. I'm good, it's pretty heavy. Oh, thank you, I got it. Thank you, sir. Maybe water inside. Maybe a little bit. So this is how you're supposed to load the kayak by yourself, but obviously once in a while you get lucky, you get a good Samaritan and he jumps in and helps you. But either way you get the idea, this way it keeps the bottom piece off the ground and the wheels just keep it protected. You roll it up and then you just pull it right up. So I hope you like this. Please give us a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. <laughs>